side channel. There's something fishy about this pin code checker. Can you figure out the pin and get the flag? Download the pin checker program here. Once you figured out the pin and got the checker program to accept it, you connect to the server and provide the pin to get your flag. So it talks about timing-based side channel attacks. You can figure out the pin by interacting with it and measuring certain properties. It says don't run your um, attacks on the master server, run against this binary. So I saw all these pin, pin, pins, and this reminded me of this tool from Intel called PIN. And so this allows us to instrument programs. In particular, one of the nice things it allows you to do is count the number of instructions that execute. So you can run an arbitrary program, then you can find out the number of instructions that execute. So I downloaded myself a copy of PIN. I got it to compile. Since it was a 32-bit um, executable and I had a 64-bit Ubuntu, I needed to um, get the build tools, GCC Multilib, So you can see I installed GCC Multilib, so I had the 32-bit tools. Then I built PIN, and then I ran it. I said I'm going to give it an eight-digit PIN because it asked for that. And I gave it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I gave it four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if you look at the number of instructions, you see that it's vastly different. So the reason it's vastly different is because it's checking one character at a time. If it detects the first character's right, it checks the second character. Now it looks like it's taking it, you know, roughly 60 million instructions to check a single character. So this is like super painfully slow, but on a fast program, this might really be helpful to you, this pin program, because then you can count instructions really fast. But since this thing is so painfully slow, we can just use the time command. So we can say like echo four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, type uh, dot slash pin checker, and we'll just run time on it. So you can see that took 0.27 seconds. Then if we say that with like a 2, still 0.27, 3, still 0.28, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight. Now you see the time jumps up a lot. We do eight. So that tells us that eight is the second correct digit. So we can move on and we try like one, two, three. So you see the time jumped up a lot. So three is correct as we keep going. I'll just sort of expedite the process. You see eight then nine jumps up a bunch. So four, nine, zero, See, it jumps up a bunch. And so this actually jumped up like twice the amount because it turns out that five is correct. So you can see if I put the four in, it goes down. Five jumps back up. And so then we have two more digits. And one, you see that jumps up again. And then three, the time jumps up again. And you'll see that I actually now have the pin. You can use that to contact the master server using this command. And uh, oh, right. I need to do that in my Windows subsystem for Linux. So we decided the pin was this. And 
there's our flag. Paste is having trouble for me today. Come on. Copy. Paste. 